we're here at the Art Source Gallery in Boise, Idaho. Why did I come all the way to Boise? Okay, I've got a couple of photos that are in the show, but if you want to see those, just go to my website, joepointe.net. We're going to um, check out some of the other works here, talk to some of the other artists, and um, just enjoy yourselves. So, thanks for watching. <laughs> Uh, we were here talking with uh, Richard Passy, who has one of the most unique works of art that I have ever seen, not only in this show, but just as an art lover myself. Would you like to tell us a little bit about your, uh, your piece here? The picture is called Working Hands, and it's made from one piece of leather, and I just enjoy making two-dimensional pictures into three-dimensional or bird's-eye view pictures. To me, a two-dimensional picture is not life enough. I have to bring it to life, so that's what intrigues me. It must be okay to go ahead and breathe the blue water. Already, uh, we're talking with... Uh, Donna Day Woman. Donna Day Woman. Mm -hmm. I, I love that name. Uh, tell us about the work that you have here in the Jury Exhibition. Okay. This... There's five figures here, and they represent my idea that on Earth we are all related to our animal companions. And in the middle, and not necessarily in this order, but the Indian man, is he's got a talking stick. 
with a raven on the top, which, rep which is kind of a symbol of uh, a messenger between the worlds, me meaning earth and heaven. We have an eagle, and he's got a, a necklace. They've all got tools with a, a medicine, wise medicine eye. The bear with the arrow, the deer with the staff, and the wolf with the oil lamp. It's a kind of a primitive oil lamp. All, each citizen on this earth, each brother, sister, have their tools that make us all a very valuable part of, of earth. Uh, we're talking with a fellow photographer, Maria G. Essig, uh, who has this beautiful photograph here called Ghost Soldiers. Uh, Maria, tell us about uh, this uh, photograph and, uh, and some of your other work. Okay, well this photograph was taken at the military reserve in the cemetery there on Memorial Day. And on Memorial Day they often do um, recreation with people in period costumes. It's traditional black and white film traditional black and white um, silver gelatin print done in the darkroom. Well, you know, I, I I haven't been commenting too much on the works themselves, but this one speaks to me personally. I'm, I'm a veteran. I was in the Navy for five years, so when I see something like this, you know, it's you know, it's, it's, it's a matter of reverence for me. And yeah. seeing it here in black and white, we see that somberness, we see that reverence, and that's, that's what I absolutely love about this photo. This is one of my favorites tonight. Well, thank you. 